Okay, today I'm going to show you how to play multiplayer on a Super Nintendo Classic or an NES Classic uh, with Sega games. Now, before I did a multiplayer on uh, the, the SNES emulators and the PS1 emulators, uh, I was trying to play a game on a multiplayer NHL game and it didn't work. I thought it would work the same as the Super Nintendo um, emulator. It did not. So here's how you get it to work with uh, Sega. Now, you're, if you're just uh, new to this, and you're going to need a modded SNES uh, Classic or NES Classic. Uh, you can go to um, Mod My Classic Discord group. They'll help you out there uh, to get a hack sheet version uh, onto your Classic so you can play other consoles on your uh, SNES. Okay, so uh, show you the setup first. I'm going to be using a Inatech OTG hub. The four controllers I'm going to be using are two, uh, two SN30 Pros. No, excuse me, these are just SN30s, not the Pro. I'm going to use a PS3 remote, and I'm going to use a N30 Pro as my controllers. Uh, if you don't know how to use a PS3 on your classic with an 8 bit device, I show you in my Super Nintendo tutorial, which I will put a link in uh, the comments so you can watch that. It's a little bit different on using a PS3 remote. Uh, but I wanted to show you that it does work. Um, but watch that video if you want to see how to get the PS3 working. Okay, so let's start. Now this is a ROM hack that I got uh, from the NHL forums. Okay, now when I start, I always leave my controllers unplugged. The uh, USB to micro USB, I leave that unplugged. I don't plug them in until I'm getting ready to set it up. Okay. So you'll notice on here, uh, I only got up to two players, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to enter RetroArch, okay? We're going to go to our quick menu controls. And what you're going to need to do is in user one device and user two device, this is how I got it to work. You're going to put Malt, if you're going to put uh, MD Joypad 6 button plus 4-way, user 2, MD plus 6 button plus 4-way, and now I'm going to hook up my controllers and turn them on and sync them. Okay, so you'll notice when I plugged in those USB to micro USB ports, uh, with the retro receiver attached. I got two controllers that showed attached. I got a port two and a port three. Now remember, it's port zero, one, two, and three. That's how you get your four players, okay? So I'm gonna turn all my joysticks on. Connected. Connected. back to my player one and in here I'm, I'm gonna restart because when you resume in NHL 94 it kicks off the game right away so I'm gonna do a restart and again this is a ROM hack with 2018 rosters so now I go one one visitor two teammates two head-to-head -head, three or four put four Put Vegas on there. Hit the start button. Okay. Player one. Right here. Where'd he go? Put way over there. Player one. James Neal. Let's see, player two. Player two. Right here. The other team. See? Okay, and let's see player four here. Where's my 
Player four. Oh, there it is, other team again. Player four, right here. So as you can see, four players works great. And uh, you can get it going on your Sega emulator now with multiplayer. And this can be used for uh, many different games that uh, allow multiplayer. If you remember, they had the multiplayer adapter in port one and two on the Sega, you plugged it in. Uh, you can just leave it in actually, and, and the one and two still work. So anyway, I hope this helps guys. Thanks for watching.